bladder dysfunction is a fairly common problem. About 10 to 12 percent of the general population would have suffered from some or the other urinary tract. So it is very common for people in our society to have problems related to the bladder and the lower urinary tract. We have many methods of treating bladder problems. We have many methods of treating bladder problems, including management of lifestyle, primarily by restricting fluids, the use of physiotherapy, medication which can improve lower urinary tract function. But not everybody responds to these treatments in the way that we want them to. So for those people who do not respond well, the, the alternatives are not very good. But one recent addition that we have to the armamentarium for the management of lower tract problems is a medicine called botulinum toxin. The botulinum toxin is the most deadly poison known to mankind. The deadliest poison. If you just take one teaspoon of botulinum toxin and mix it in all the food that we are eating, all human beings on earth would die. It's that deadly. It's the deadliest poison known to mankind. But just like many of our powerful medicines, if you take a deadly poison, and bring it down to the right concentration, extremely diluted, it becomes a powerful medicine. And botulinum toxin is one such medicine. So this has been introduced in our, in, in our country over the last, uh, in, the, in recent times, but many centers are not following these treatments. And so we felt the need for a teaching program for making virologists, gynecologists, and other professionals who are involved in the management of low tract function uh, uh, making them aware of this particular medicine and how to use it. And for this today, we have one of the best exponents of, of this management, Dr. Marcus Drake. Now, Dr. Marcus Drake is a consultant urologist at the Bristol Urological Institute in the United Kingdom. He has done his training at the Oxford University and Cambridge University and is a visiting professor to several other institutions in his country. For the European uh, school of Education for Urology, and he's the author, the lead author for some of the international guidelines which we have on this particular subject of botulinum toxin. He has a large number of publications and books to him, and chapters and books to his credit, and he conducts this particular training program that we are doing here, he conducts this program in Europe at the European Association of Urology Congress. So he has been doing this program at different centers across the world and this time he has come to India to do this program. We are very fortunate, Marcus, to have you with us. Thanks, Marcus. So for this program, we actually have two parts to the program that we are doing today. In the morning, through part of the program, we are doing some uh, live demonstrations for people to be able to learn this technique. And for learning this technique, we have urologists from different parts of South India. So we have about 20 urologists from Bangalore, from Chennai, from Coimbatore, from different parts of the country who have come and from uh, uh, different regions of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana who have come for the, the morning hands-on uh, demonstration that we have for the technique of doing this particular procedure. But we also have a much wider range of discussions through the afternoon where we have more urologists joining us in for a, a range of discussions related to lower tract dysfunction where we expect that Marcus will be able to clarify many of our doubts and we will be able to uh, uh, have a mutually beneficial and enriching discussion in a good aca uh, academic environment. Uh, I must thank the Apollo Hospital uh, Management, to Mr. Subramanian sir, our Chief Executive Officer, CEO, Dr. Hari Prasad, uh, Sangeeta ma'am, uh, who have all uh, really been very supportive and are always supportive of all the educational activities and academic activities that we have been doing in this uh, hospital. Uh, thank you, sir, very much for all your support.